Well, this is the um, first Lego engine I ever built in the winter of 1993-1994. Many time uh, my brothers and I would build something out of Lego. If it was a really good creation, we'd always put the Lego block in it, which I did. So we had always wondered if it was possible to build a Lego engine. And so we really there was an internet in my little Midwestern town back then. And so I just decided to get the Lego bin out. I had an idea for how to make it work. And um, even back in the 80s when we were in elementary school, we had tried to build a steam engine using a little, um, a little pot of uh, heated water in a vinyl tube. And it uh, just wasn't the way to do it. And so we're trying to figure out what to use. Air compressors were just too much, and we hit on the idea of using a wet-dry vac. Now, what I've done here is I've actually, it's running a lot slower because I'm using a hair dryer, and I'm running it through about 30 feet of tubing because one of my gripes on YouTube is when people have a Lego engine, they have the vacuum cleaner right there in the video, and it just screams, and you can't hear the engine. So, anyways, this is all my original design, and uh, it's uh, I've had it on my website since the late 90s, um, which I can put in the link below. But my original design simply used uh, one by twos for the valve and a single pulley with rivets in it to actuate the valve, and of course a rubber band for the valve spring. And uh, since this requires more air, I had trouble getting it to carry through. So what I did is I actually put a couple uh, motorcycle wheels on a Technic beam and hooked it to the axle to help carry it through. When you blow in it, man, it blow it just really revs up. So I just know if I had um, a wet dry vac, something with quite a bit more force, it would ramp or it would rev up. But uh, something I'm finding out with Legos that are sitting on the shelf or in a tote for 25 years, they start to lose their ability to stick. They stretch out. And so um, I don't really need to run these that fast. But it's really cool to see it. I was contacted by uh, a young gentleman, Noah Armistead, and he said as far as he can tell, I might very well have... Uh, the first or one of the first Lego engines ever built, because I understand today they're called LVEs for Lego Vacuum Engine. And um, the designs that people have done with their engines, I could have only dreamed of them. And they're simple, I just didn't have some of the parts they're using available to me. And um, the engines are just revving really high, it's really amazing. The one thing that we had uh, wanted to build our engines for is we had tried hooking axles into uh, power drills and it was way 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 too much torque for our creation to strip gears out if you didn't get the drill lined right and went offside and melt the uh, lego axle right into the beam it was just horrible so we were trying to figure out a way that we could power our stuff because we just didn't have the money to afford uh, the lego electric motor kits so our intentions were to, um, if we could build a model of an engine, maybe we could power something with it. But we found our earliest versions of our uh, Lego engines just didn't have a lot of torque because uh, they only have power going down and then they have to coast up. So you're only getting 180 degrees of power approximately, if even that. So we invented some Lego turbines, which I'll feature in some other videos that seemed to do the trick. It was constant power and it worked way better for powering things, but you still got to admit um, a, a functional working Lego engine is just hard to beat. It's just awesome to watch. I'll be uh, turning 50 years old in August, but I built this when I was about 25, approximately. And uh, I have to laugh because my brother, he would always build the cool stuff. And this was the only thing really cool that I ever built that I beat him at. And then, uh, of course, he was inspired to build. And anytime he would build, his stuff was immaculate. Color matched, worked great. 
I didn't care though because I, I had one thing that I could claim was mine that I had built. But not to put him down at all because his stuff was awesome too. So I'm just going to film this for about a minute so you can just hear the um, engine run without me talking. Okay, hope you enjoyed it.